Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Now there's a saying in the military, train hard, fight easy and for very good reason. It's to get the soldiers and seamen, did I say seamen? Seamen ready for battle or the horrors of war. So basic training for the military and co continuous training for the military is pretty hardcore. And like I say, for very good reason because you don't want Namby Pambys fighting your war and defending these, these fair isles of ours. And with that thought in mind, I've got an upcoming trip, the ACT UK, um, planned very soon. And I've just thought I haven't actually rode the bike fully luggaged, adventured up. So if we take a look at Peps, Peps is looking rather, rather fetching, rather adventurous in her gear for the upcoming ACT UK. So we have got the Lomo 40 litre roll bag, which in this side, so basically everything that I'm taking is on the bike. And I'm carrying a rucksack with water, two and a half litres of water, snacks, uh, yeah, snacks, two and a half litres of water, and all my stuff for social media. So cam uh, camera, batteries, leads, charging cables, what else? Loads of SD cards, one a day. So 40 litre Lomo roll bag, it has, uh, inflatable airbed on this side, trainers are on that side or is it the other way around? Trainers this side, trainers this side, inflatable airbed. Um, this softy little bit here is a three season sleeping bag and then there's a two person, two man tent, okay, which weighs in at 2.8 kilos. Pay up, I am falling over, not a good start. In the Enduro Stan Bla Blizzard, it does say so on the side, Enduro Stan Blizzard large saddlebags, which are 12 litres each. I have in this side, I have got cooking equipment. So stove, MSR burner, uh, MSR pot, titanium pot, um, food. So I'm only taking breakfast uh, in there. So porridge pots, which I've been, I've decanted it into little food bags. There is uh, a wrap jacket on my waterproofs. And on the other side is all the clothes that I'm gonna be wearing. So, change of underwear, hiking trousers, t-shirt, another base layer, three pairs of socks, and yeah, and in the back is baby droney. Uh, in the saddlebag is, in the saddlebag? Tank bag is my phone and wallet, and some other bits and bobs that are irrelevant to this video. Um, so, that is all fitted with a heat shield, but yeah. Pepper is looking rather, rather adventurous. She does weigh the same as a small moon. That's no moon. Anyway, that was random. Let's get on the bike. Let's see how I get on, because at the end of the day, I've not rode fully geared up, so the bike does weigh a bit more. But you know, trail hard, tour easy. Trail hard, ACT easy is my theory. So back in a bit. chose this lane for several reasons it's not the hardest lane but that's not the reason why I chose it but yeah it's not the hardest lane in, uh, local to me but it is local to me it's less than 10 minutes from my home and it does seem to have a bit of everything so there's a lot of uh, uphill a lot of gravel a lot of whoops and um, there's usually some puddles down here regardless of how dry the rest of the trail is so there's also a massive descent over rocks with camber changes and yeah camber changes and um, steps that you obviously have to be careful on. Now I need to remember I've got saddlebags uh, behind me and that they could get caught up in these hedges so I need to think about line selection more than anything is going to be critical. I don't really know what kind of trails I'm gonna be faced with all the way through the ACT, but I do know 
the ACT UK ramps it up in intensity it's a lot harder than the ACT Portugal I did back in 2018 um, and there are a lot of steep climbs I know a lot of people are saying but well, it can't be done on a big bike despite the ACT team doing it on big bikes like the Harley Davidson GS uh, Triumph Tiger everything all the all the all the behemoths of uh, the adventure world none of these lightweight things I think a T7 did it somebody did it on a T7 but um, but yeah so far guys like I say uh, it's so far I'm not really noticing the way and the key for riding off road successfully um, with a big bike um, carrying weight is to keep it as low as possible this trail is greasy as heck there's heck there's a H in there somewhere the trail is greasy because it's rained recently and um, yeah it's rained recently so the ground's a bit wet and what we've got coming up soon after we've got round this bit of a hairpin it starts to pick up and climb and it gets really rutted and um, I need to stay on the c in the correct rut um, at all times otherwise I'm just going to get ricocheted into the bottom rut and I'm going to get not stuck but there is a chance of falling or well, maybe not falling but dabbing This is a lovely vein guys, it really is. It's not, like I say, it's only a 10 minute ride from where I live, from my front door. 10 minutes from here to my front door. And it takes me up past somewhere I used to live. It takes me past the house that I used to live at uh, back in the day when my kids were born. So, um, But yeah guys, so far I'm, um, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. And this is a bit where I need to start thinking about getting into the right rut. Which is on the right side, which is this one. I need to stay in this right side and not get pinged off because of the saddlebags. <laughs> right, I know I've drifted over to the left because I'm going to follow the line. This is where I need to be now. This is where I need to be on the right and stay on the right. Um, in fact, I'm going to change my mind, go that way, get back on the right. This is where I'm worried about the uh, saddlebags getting caught up in the trees, especially this part here. It's getting narrow, narrow, narrow. Oh my god, you burn in the face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. drop just in case right remember the first time I came here it was Ken, Ken and uh, it didn't quite work out for me I got stuck in the bottom in the rut I'm gonna go right oh, committed I committed to the hedge committed to the hedge go guys I am happy with that on my knee happy for Larry so floor somewhere so guys pets all ready for for an adventure Everything's on there for the trip. I won't be taking this bit of fern though. So yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, that's all this video is going to be, guys. I'm going to take because uh, I haven't got time for staying all day. But I thought if I give that a go, um, should we turn around and have another go? 
I've never done it the other way around. Yeah, what the heck. Back in a minute. All right, guys. I've never done it the opposite way around. So, uh, and for a bonus. Bonus video. So it's gonna be the same but different, isn't it? Same, same but different. Hedge this time, Kent. Go left. Oh, you monkey. Don't go right. Got the creatures in my helmet. Creatures in the helmet. wasn't planned <laughs> neither was this neither was this <laughs> but it was kind of planned I was like I had no choice I had to make a decision and figure it out and then just relax into it 118 relax into it I think there's a lot of the, the trails on the ACT are a bit stony so this is good practice. Right, little bubble over there, thank you very much. Yeah, we're doing alright, aren't we? Famous last words. Rider says, uh, I treat my hello, look at that beast. Yeah, my friend extra rider says, I uh, <laughs> treat the GS as if it was a CRF 250. I wish I made it look that easy. Okay, assess, assess, assess. Yeah, we'll go left because that looks like. Yeah! Right, guys, this is where the easy part is. I mean, I could still crash. You know what I'm like. guys we're all good we're all good in the hood so if you got anything from this video um, like I say ACT UK probably the hardest ACT yet I think um, some people say you can't do it on big bikes or it's, it's gonna be hard on a big bike some people doubt that I could do it as well let's go and prove them wrong shall we not that I'm uh, that kind of competitive person or anything but uh, yeah 118 peace out bye